poor, poor Republicans. They're very upset that James Carvel is saying bad things about them. Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Reiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the mega crowd. So we hear this time and again, Republicans whining, oh, poor us, we're being attacked by liberals. We never asked for this fight, and here we are fighting a culture war for survival. So whenever they get the chance to actually point to a liberal saying something bad about them, they go berserk, like they did, for example, when I pointed out that they engage in projection. And here, when James Carville attacks the behavior of the Republicans at President Biden's State of the Union speech. Let's check it out. Welcome back. Well, Democrat strategist James Carville is resorting to name calling to blast the Republican Party. We've heard this before. Over the booze and heckling during President Biden's State of the Union address. Well, uh, you know, I told people I have a PhD in white trashology. And you saw real white trash on display. Hmm. And let me say something about Congressman Marjorie Taylor Grant. She dresses like white trash. She really needs a fashion consultant. Can I recommend George Santos? He, he could do a good job of, of dressing up where she doesn't announce her white trashdom by her, her own well, clothes. Okay, so Fox News goes berserk over that comment. And the truth of the matter is, it's hard to criticize it. I mean, here they are talking about how James Carvel is engaging in name calling against Marjorie Taylor Greene after, in the middle of the State of the Union address, she called Joe Biden a liar. Isn't that name calling, by the way? But yes, he's attacking the way she dressed. Oh, boo hoo. Now, you'll have to excuse me if I don't feel a lot of sympathy for them. I mean, I've spent more time than I care to watching Fox News, and frankly, it makes me sick. I've seen video after video with Mike Huckabee, whose daughter, of course, was cheerleader number one for Donald Trump, perhaps the worst president we've ever had, attacking Joe Biden's mental acuity, making jokes about him, claiming that he thought the spy balloons that President Biden was handling were Santa Claus coming early. But they're okay with that. They're not okay, though, with James Carvel making a humorous comment in response to truly appalling behavior. I mean, whatever you say about Democrats during the State of the Union speeches by Trump, nobody was ever heckling him. The worst thing that was ever done was after the speech was over, Nancy Pelosi tore his speech in half. And boy, they were cr going crazy about that. I mean, it's almost as bad as when Barack Obama wore his brown suit. But this is typical. I mean, number one, Republicans are in favor of cutting Social Security and Medicare, and it's well documented. And for anyone who doubts me, I'll post the documentation down below. You can check it out for yourself. Secondly, Republicans nurture this sense of grievance that they have. Poor white people. Oh my God, we might have to fully share in the prosperity of our country with people who don't look and act like us. We're not going to be given the unwarranted privilege that's been given to us since the founding of this country over everybody else. And all these other people will be treated the same as we are. God forbid. I mean, we saw great examples of this whining and sense of grievance in their response to Cheryl Lee Ralph performing Lift Every Voice and Sing at the Super Bowl. Nobody claimed, by the way, that this was a national anthem in any way, shape, or form. They just said that this is lift every voice and sing. So the point of all this is that Republicans love to find some opportunity to feel outraged, some basis to actually claim that, oh my gosh, we're not being given the unwarranted respect that we've been expecting since the founding of this country. And that's why they leapt over James Carvel when he had the temerity to attack Marjorie Taylor Greene and call her names for calling Joe Biden a liar during the State of the Union speech. Well, if you want to see just how messed up Republicans are on Fox News, check out this video over here where I talk about how their big investigations are going to target 
Dr. Jill Biden. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.